some other advanced um, settings trainings that we want to go over um, before you move on to uh, auto calibration and, and the basic startup and everything um, after you connect to the vehicle um, you first need to make sure that the OBD is working um, you've, you, you plug in, you, you get everything plugged in from your laptop to, um, to the ECU and uh, you start up the software <clears throat> well um, here on the bottom right um, it'll tell you if it's trying to connect there'll be a little bar across here um, or you can just go through straight over here and click on OBD on this tab um, it'll default to the settings tab and then you'll come over here and OBD connection status here you can see that we're connected we're all good it automatically you know figured out that we are using the um, can, st uh, CAN standard here OBD protocols there's lots of different ones uh, you can do automatic uh, if you want, you can see the different settings. Um, this uh, top one, the uh, CAN 11500, is the most uh, popular uh, with newer vehicles. On older vehicles, you may use those, but um, this is all you need. But um, this is usually you know automatic unless there's uh, some something weird going on, but it'll be pretty self-explanatory if not. Um, and then um, how are you going to collect the OBD corrections um, on this particular vehicle which is a Toyota Tundra we have left it on long-term fuel trims you can also collect the OBD corrections from the short-term fuel trims as well this is just a matter of um, you know different vehicles uh, we have found tend to be a little bit better uh, the Tundra likes it better just on the long-term fuel trims we found that it tended to uh, adapt quicker and, uh, and perform better just looking at the long-term fuel trims because it adjusted the long-term fuel trims fast enough to uh, to basically keep things you know adapting the way it needs to. Um, we, however, we've noted on uh, on the Chevy, for example, uh, Chevrolets have the uh, long-term and short-term fuel trims. So um, it's just a matter of you know which one you'll, you'll see it you know as you're going through the tuning on the road test which one's better um, you can always def you know it's better safe than sorry or you know the, the default you know should be long term and short term so you can go to that if you desire and then uh, OBD adaptation uh, is the one you want to go off of it's going to give you the best results um, we get the software gives you options for other things but these are usually only under extreme circumstances so again uh, adaptation to fast and then this will all be on default to you know petrol trims uh, the correction is not inverted and um, that's the OBD setting there we do have the ability to erase uh, engine errors so if the vehicle is throwing a uh, check engine light and getting a random code if it's something that you just can't get rid of but it has nothing to do with the performance of the vehicle or the CNG uh, functionality um, you can contact Sky CNG and we can work out a way for this to um, d ignore it essentially to where it won't give you the check engine light uh, but this is again something that's only used under extreme circumstances a proper install on a good running vehicle should hardly ever um, need anything like that then once you go to here um, you'll be ready to proceed with the uh, the firmware and the software settings update and move on to calibration